I conducted a social experiment with two adult African cheetahs. I wanted to observe and record their nocturnal behaviors. So I spent 10 nights inside this concrete box, which is inside their enclosure. On this night, I showcased Faith, a physically handicapped cheetah who discovered the softest spot inside was my pillow. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Similar to a dog, a cheetah has to find the perfect spot before laying down. Good girl, Faith. Which side you want, sweetie? Which side you want, sweetie? She wants this side. Good girl. Good girl. It doesn't take much to get her purr motor going. Tamed cheetahs just love attention. Apparently, I wasn't giving her enough attention, and she had to lay even closer. I mentioned before that cheetahs find pleasure in grooming. That's what Faith wanted to do, but I only let her do it sparingly. I lost my pillow. She has a tendency to love bite, and it's very dangerous. She can't control the strength of her bite because of her nervous disorder. Her love bites become injuries. I didn't want this happening to me. It bites her neck. So. He bites too hard. Can I use the pillow? Can I use the pillow, Faith? I use. I need to use. I need to use Faith as a pillow. Can I use the pillow, sweetie. Huh? So I had to watch her carefully and not let her grab me. Can I use the pillow now. You gotta. You gotta leave my pillow. Cheetahs love giving and receiving affection, so a palms flat hand grooming was okay. She's just happy as a cheetah grooming me, but it always escalates into love bites. Uh, Faith here has a habit of biting sometimes and not letting go, and biting hard. So that's why I panic a little bit like that. So she's trying to grab my hand. I can't trust her because she bites too hard. It's just a friendly thing, but she she ends up biting too hard, and I can't trust her. The next one coming in, I can trust. It's a Eden. Being the nice guy that I am, I let Faith groom my balding head. They love hair when they groom, you know. They don't like your skin as much. It's gonna give me a, a cheetah lick instead of a cow lick. Actually, her tongue doesn't hurt as much as Eden does. Oh, that does. I let them groom me because it really does help in bonding with them. And they truly enjoy it. Good girl. Good girl, Faith. Good girl, Faith. After 20 minutes, she finally settled down to rest. When she discovered how soft my pillow was, she wasn't going to move. So, with her purring permission, I used her as a pillow for the night. Here I am with Faith. She's completely smothered my pillow. So now, she is my pillow. I see her. Yeah, she, like me, she likes me laid on, actually. It's very, uh, kind of a social bonding thing they do. I see both of them, Eden and Faith, just completely smother each other. <laughs> She's completely taking my pillow. 
you know, it sucks. So now she's my fellow. I can hear her. I can hear and feel her heartbeat. It was time for both of us to get some sleep. But as you can imagine, only one of us did. With my head leaned against her torso, I could actually feel and hear her heartbeat. It's definitely every time she inhales, her heart rate, her heart rate, at least doubles and triples. It slows down. I had noticed when she inhaled, her heart rate increased, and when she exhaled, it slowed down. You can watch her breathing as I give a play-by-play -play of her heartbeat. Bump, bump, bump. Time for some biological science. I have a theory about the heart rate difference and breathing rhythm. When we inhale, oxygen is being absorbed by our lungs, which then is pumped throughout our body by our heart. That oxygenated blood then feeds our body, including our muscles. I mean, it's almost three times, four times as fast. And eating was the same way. I was feeling her heart rate. Fast on the inhalation, slow down on the exhalation. So in a cheetah's case, a rapid heart rate transports that oxygenated blood quicker to the muscles, thus fueling a cheetah to run faster. A slower heart rate gives the lungs time to expel the CO2 or carbon dioxide. It's just my theory, but it's not tested. <sighs> I know, boring, boring, boring. Let's get to the good stuff. Like the other reason I couldn't sleep with a live cheetah pillow. Because it was alive and sleepwalked. It's impossible to sleep with a living cheetah pillow. This is why. sleep when I'm in here. So my recommendation is not using a live cheetah as a pillow. You won't get any sleep with all the purring, grooming, heart racing, rapid breathing, dream running and twitching, and you could get scratched. Consider joining my channel. In the meantime,